Hello, my dear genius learners. How are you? Hopefully, you're well. I'm also well. I'm welcoming all of you from my class. So, let's enjoy the class. So, my dear genius learners, let's review math of second term examination. Today we are going to review division, fill in the blanks, question mark, word problems of multiplication, word problems of division, and also time table 6 to 9. So here first we have to see division. Number A, 12 divide 6. We have to recall time table 6. So 6 ones are 6, 6 twos are 12. So answer is 2. The next one, 35 divide 5. We have to recall time table 5. So 5 sevens are 5 sevens are 35. The next number C, 21 divide 3. So we have to recall term table 3. 3 sevens are 21. 3 sevens are 21. Now fill in the blanks. Number 1, you already know this one. You will get this one from the sheet. Number 1, 100 pi she equal to 1 taka. 100 pi she equal to 1 taka. 1 taka equal to 100 pi she. Then 10 notes of 2 taka equal to 20 taka. Just you have to multiply 10 into 2 and you will get the answer 20 taka. Same way 4 notes of 5 taka equal to dash taka. You have to multiply 4 into 5. So answer will be 20. 4 into 5 or 4 fives are 20 taka. The next one number 5. 5 notes of 2 taka equal to dash taka. Again you have to multiply 5 into 2. So 5 to 0 10. Answer 10 taka. The next So, eight notes of five taka equal to dash taka. We have to multiply eight into five. If we multiply eight into five, answer will be forty taka. Answer will be forty. Taka. The next one, three notes of 20 taka equal to dash taka. Again, we have to multiply 3 into 20 or 20 into 3. And answer will be, answer will be 60 taka. First, we have to multiply 2 and 3. So, 3 to 0, 6 and 0. 60 taka. So 9 notes of 10 taka equal to 90 taka. Then 5 notes of 20 taka equal to 5 to the 10 and 0 so 100. So 5 into 20 taka is equal to 100 Taka. 6 notes of 10 taka equal to dash taka. So, 
six ones are six and zero. So answer will be sixty taka. Then answer the following questions. Write down all the Bangladeshi coins name. We already know the coins name. I gave there are eight Bangladeshi coins name. Just you have to know the coins name and I will give you in question in exam time. You have to write the answer. Eight Bangladeshi coins name. That can be one Pasha coin, five Pasha coin, ten Pasha coin, twenty five Pasha coin, fifty Pasha coin, one Taka coin, two Taka coin, and last one is five Taka coin. Same way, you have to write. I will give you this question. Write down all the Bangladeshi notes name. Top one coins name and below notes name. Here you can see the nine Bangladeshi notes name. Just you have to memorize, you have to know the notes name and you have, you have to write in exam. So number one, one taka note, two taka note, five taka note, ten taka note, twenty taka note, fifty taka note, hundred taka note, five hundred taka note, one thousand taka notes. So you have to remember these two questions and let's see the multiplication of word problems. Here you can see there are three wheels of the rickshaw. How many wheels would be for five rickshaw? If we see, we know there are three wheels of the rickshaw. So, how many wheels will be five rickshaw? So let's see in wheels or in one rickshaw there are three wheels. In five rickshaw there are three into five wheels. So we have to we call time to the five or three. So five into three is equal to fifty wheels. Fifteen wheels. So answer will be fifteen wheels. Five rickshaws. Five rickshaw have fifteen wheels. Number two, Rafik has been reading a book by five, nine pages a day. Rafik reads nine pages of book from book one day, nine pages. He reads nine pages one day in one day. So how many pages will he read in seven days? So we know in one day, Rafik reads how many pages? Nine pages. So in seven days, we know in a week, seven days, there are seven days. So we have to multiply. So seven days, Rafik reads. One day, he reads nine pages. And seven days, Rafik reads nine into seven pages. So nine into seven is equal to 63 pages. Answer will be 63 pages. In 7 days, Rafik reads 63 pages. Now let's see the division. Two persons. Two persons equally divided 8 mangoes. Divide 8 mangoes. How many mangoes will each person eat? Here you can see 8 mangoes. We have to divide it between two persons. So we have to divide 8 mangoes between two persons. That's why we have to recall time table 2. So, two persons get 8 mangoes. One person get 8 divide 2 mangoes. So, 4 twos or 2 fours are 8. Answer will be 4. So, two persons get or each person get 1. Each person get 4 mangoes then five persons sit on one bench how many benches will be necessary for 45 persons five persons sit one bench in one bench five persons will sit and how many benches will be needed or necessary for 45 persons so five persons sit in 
one bench the 45 question c in 45 divide 5 so 5 nines are 45 benches answer will be 9 benches 45 person will sit or 45 person needed bench benches 9 benches 45 persons necessary to sit 9 benches so write the timetables of 6 to 9 here I'm not saying all the timetables 6 to 9 but you have to remember you have to memorize still you some of you not memorize please I'm saying please please try to memorize it will be help in upper class also so if you don't still we have time to remember and also time to memorize I'm not saying all the time to, but in time table I will give you an exam time 81 6 to 9 81 time table I'll give you just you have to write sequentially if I give you give you 7 times 7 just you have to write 7 0 0 7 7 1 so 7 7 0 0 0 7 1 so 7 7 2 0 14 like this way just you have to write sequentially and I'm requesting please try to do more and more it will be help us to do get better marks in exam so take good preparation for the exam so my dear students hopefully you learn and enjoy the class so practice more and more and try to remember Thank you. Bye.